hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much to all my wonderful subscribers and if you are new to my channel please do not forget to click that subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel please press on the notification bell to notify you whenever i upload a new and interesting video so guys today is a wonderful day it is so 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 good and um, i'm going to be making something special for my family it's sunday we are back from church it's like that sunday that you just want to chill relax and just have fun with your family without anything blocking the way so i'm going to be making a burger it is so good plantain burger like guys if you have not tried this you have to go and try it like the flavor in this burger will bust your brain it will literally it will literally explode your brain i had this recipe before in one of my old recipes you know yeah but i'm gonna show you like you know because you know what we do here we like to share and uh we like to do something different um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys the fantastic bag i feel like whenever i say i'm making this to my family they're like yeah plantain burger like is that vibe you get that hallelujah kind of vibe happy moment smiley everybody have their smiley face so i'm going to make my i'm going to make this special <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of feeling myself today. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. So guys, I am going to make this wonderful, delicious, juicy plantain burger for my family. Come on on board. Let me introduce you guys to our ingredients for today. You don't want to miss this video. Kick back, relax, and let's, you know, uh, and let's do our pain. So guys, this is our ingredients for today. So we have cheese, you can use any sliced cheese anyway. We have our plantain, we have onions, we have lettuce, and we have this fluffy guys, this buns, oh, this buns. If you have not tried this buns in your life, go and get it. This buns is so fluffy and so <laughs> and so delicious and um, i got that from little and i have my beef meat for the burger so let's get into the business and i have salt to taste right i think that's all we need that's all we need and and our vegetable oil okay guys let's move on let's move on let's move on a couple of you have been asking me do you eat any other food that is no nigerian food yes i do i love food like like i i love food it doesn't matter if it's nigerian asian chinese i'm that person that is open to try whatever like i literally want to try anything so that is our pan i am going to put the oven i mean <laughs> the oven i'm going to put the stove on let me dry this pan it's full of water so why that is dry so i am going to add my vegetable oil just a little bit i don't want too much of it okay and now I am going to add my beef burger. I am not completely going to cook it here. I just want to just lightly fry it before I add it in the oven. Mm -hmm. There you 
that. So I'm going to wash my meaty hand. I'm going to cook it here for like five minutes. You know, it's gonna be a quick, a quick cook here, and then I'll add it in the oven. out this meat and put it inside this bowl and then put it in the oven you don't have to actually fry your meat this is something that i like to do if you don't like to do it you can just just add your meat in your oven tray or whatever and put it inside the oven without even uh, frying it but it has become something that i like to do so i'll put that inside here and i'll put it in my oven and then leave it to uh, finish cooking in the oven okay so my meat is now in the oven i am going to leave it there um and i set my heat on a uh, 160 and I'm going to leave it there to cook for about 20 uh, minutes so while my oven is on you can hear the sound of my oven I hate that oven it makes so much noise and uh, while my oven is on I am going to add my oil uh, first of all I have oil that I used the other day for frying plantain I will add it first and then okay and i will add a bit more from this one so while that oil is getting hot we're going to start cutting our plantain so that is our plantain so i'm going to start slicing it I'm going to put this in the bin. I will give my plantain a rinse out. So that is my plantain. And the key of cutting this plantain is to cut it chunky chunky. So in this one, I am going to get at least three. Three of it. Now I am going to add salt and I am going to mix. So our plantain is ready to get frying. I am going to check if this oil is ready. I'll use this tiny one and check. Mm, it's still a bit more it's not yet ready it's not yet hot i did not hear the <laughs> you know when you put something inside the hot oil you, you hear the sizzling sound i didn't hear the sizzling sound but uh yeah give it uh, another few minutes okay yeah now i can start adding Mm -hmm. 
so now we are going to take our plantain we're going to take our plantain out you don't have to fry the plantain to be golden brown now at this stage you don't need it to be you know golden brown now because we're going to be um we're going to be frying it again so you don't really have to make it to be golden brown now because it's going back inside the oil in the second stage of it so we take everything out So I'll put the last one. So guys, I am done frying this plantain. I am going to move on to the next stage. I'm going to off this hot oil and take it out for now. I'll move it over to the other side for now. I don't want it to be too hot when I need it. So come over here so over here I am going to find the cup whenever I'm doing this I'm using this cup because it has a good a good bottom a good strong bottom so find the cup that have a very very strong bottom because the next stage is just put leave the plantain like that and then smoosh it down the best way you can sometimes it doesn't smoosh down very well but Smoosh it down the best way you can. Okay, move it over to the other side. And that one is more smooth. That one is better than this one. So basically the idea of this the idea of making it this flat is just to make it look like a burger meat so it's basically a messy business so you just have to be ready <laughs> you just have to be ready to get your hand messy and oily So now we are going to move on to the next stage which is putting back our flat plantain back inside the oil. So this is the way you want it this is the way you want it like see see how it looks that is the way you want it very crispy. so I'm gonna take that one out of the pot now so I'm going to put the rest of my plantain So this is the plantain it is ready you can see how brown and crispy it is I can't wait this is exactly the way you're aiming to get get it and like I was saying before this is very good for vegetarian if you're doing a burger if you're a vegetarian try this you will not regret it and um, so yeah I am going to then um, cut my onions and fry my onions a bit I'll take this out of here and I'll bring this pan back I'm gonna use that pan to to fry my onions because I like the way the the meat and the meat sauce is in that pan so I'll use it to fry my onions uh, a bit 
So we will move over to this side and I will cut my onions. So that is it. I'll go and rinse it. So I rinsed that a bit and I am going to slice it. Just round round, you know. Okay. I'm going to slice it seco seco. going to go back to the pan so now I am going to add the onions so that is the way the onions is looking and it's done now I'll take it out of the stove so this is the burger. I am going to drain all this oil out of it because there's loads of oil from it. Like you can see the, you can see the, all this oil, I'll drain it out. So after taking out the oil, I am going to place, I am going to place the cheese on top of it and let it melt. So I'm going to put it back in the oven and let the cheese melt melt in the oven and at this point I'm going to take one of the buns and put it um, put it inside the oven as well and toast it in the oven I have taken out my uh, meat from the oven that is the meat I've taken it out from the oven and I have also taken out my buns from the oven. So this is the fun part of making this burger. This is the one I absolutely love now is building and molding my burger. So first I'm going to add some lettuce, right? And I'm going to add my onions. get it in the middle okay I like loads of onions so let's get it in there and I am going to add my plantain my first plantain and then I will add my meat Oh, look at that. And I'll add another plantain. You know what? I think I might add all my plantain at the bottom. So I'll add two plantain like that. And I'll add that and voila. Look at that. Like, look at the, that goodness. Look oh my lord huh? i can't wait to can you see what i'm seeing can you are you seeing this juicy delicious burger i don't know if you're seeing what i'm seeing but i'm seeing something special here can you see this like i can't wait guys this is delicious okay let's let's this is it guys this is it this is it I'm not gonna add my ketchup yet until I'm ready to you know dive inside this burger because I like to add my ketchup when I'm ready I don't want to put my ketchup and let my bones be soft I want to add my ketchup when I'm getting there do you understand so guys this is it <laughs> so guys this is it for this video I can't wait to put my mouth in this burger and start demolition it it is so good it looks so good it smells so good like this is the best treat for my family according to my family though i make the best burger in town 
<laughs> anywho um i can't wait to start eating it like tune in you know what is coming on in the next video you know what is coming on in the next video ha! this burger is life is to die for and um, that is where i'm gonna stop today's recipe please do not forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you on my next one let me go and feed my kids and then feed myself <laughs> bye Mwah.